Good morning, guys. Happy, happy, happy Sunday, my lovelies. So, I wanted to show you why you want to put your potatoes up. Do you see how moist this ground is? But also, do you see all those little white centipedes that's in there? That is not good for potatoes, okay? This is why, do you see I had a potato, it was trying to grow, but the ground, see little baby tomato, potato, but the ground, it just, it just didn't grow because, yes, it's good soil, but it wasn't well drained, see, it wasn't well drained, and, um, that's an issue when you're trying to grow potatoes. So this is why, and I'm gonna make these holes bigger, obviously, because it didn't drain well with the holes I had. This is why when your potato barrel, you want to put your potato barrel on a platform. You see, you see I got this? And this isn't perfect and, uh, you know, but, you know, you need to try something. Okay, you need to try and get it up off the ground a little bit, but uh, the holes that I have in it, I don't know if you can tell, but the holes that I have in it are not big enough. I'm going to have to make bigger holes for drainage, okay? And, uh, that's, that's why I didn't get any potatoes last year, okay? Because I told you last year I kind of made a couple mistakes. Well, this was one of them, okay? Now, here's another thing. I went ahead, and I'm walking over here now. I went ahead and I planted my blackberries and my raspberries. Well, you know, if you're like me, you forget what you planted. So I just took the top of the box and I put it there in the cage with it. And I put this little, this is just old fencing that I just cut and folded. You can see where I where I, I cut the tines and I folded them down to tie them in. And this is just a old piece of fence. And so that's 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 how you can remember. And looky here. I thought this tree was dead, but maybe it might come back. I mean this is my maple tree, so we definitely want the maple tree to come back for maple syrup, right? And then here is my raspberries and you see I've done the same thing with this little fence. And uh, I've also already, in my little greenhouse, which unfortunately I think they're dead, but I went ahead and I planted my lemon tree and my lime tree. And maybe they'll come back and maybe they won't. I mean, I don't know at this point. But either way, they're in the ground and if they don't come back, then I'm not out anything because they'll just compost down into the ground. But I just wanted to show you what to do with your potatoes. Now, with my potatoes, I'm going to take some of that dirt and I'm going to take some potting mix and I'm going to put dirt up to about right here. Okay, so that's a good six inches of dirt. And then I'm going to lay my potatoes down. And then I'm going to cover them with just a, a light layer of dirt. And then next week I'm going to come in and I'm going to see have they grown up any. If they've grown up some, then I'm going to lay a little bit more dirt on them. And I'll, I'll keep doing that until I get up to about right here. Now, when I do it, I have found in those containers I have there by the porch, I have found to leave just a little snippet of the greens at the top. I don't know why. Everybody else says cover them, but I have found that if I need to leave just a little snippet at the top, otherwise they won't grow. And I don't know if that's because of my soil or, or uh, just the type of potatoes I'm trying to grow. I, I don't know, okay? Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you what... what uh, I'm trying 
and uh, everything that I've been told to do. So I've got the two more to go that I got to dump out like this and uh, set them on set them on my pallet here. And I might need to reinforce this pallet. Uh, uh, I'll have to see. Uh, I'll probably walk on it and make sure it's, it, it'll take my weight. Um, but I have the wood. I have the wood and everything to, to reinforce it if I need to. And as you can see, I've got two more barrels there that I need to wash out and cut and uh, set up. Now, this area that I'm standing in right here, this is the area I'm thinking of putting my chicken coop. And I'm thinking of making the run go down that way. Because I don't grow anything here. And uh, I think this would be good with the big tree here. I think this would be good shade for them. And, uh, you know, and I can easily, easily uh, set it off from the shed here just a little bit so I can get to it for the eggs and everything. And, and just make it, it, it just seems to me like this would work good. So, that's what I wanted to share with you this morning. And, uh, y'all have a blessed day. And, bicycle!